NASA discovers a planet that defies the law of physics. A young planet orbiting a young star, similar to our Sun, is located in our galaxy around 420 light years away. Similar to Saturn, this planet has rings, but the size of the rings is actually massive, unlike Saturn. The exoplanet J1407b is 20 times as massive as Saturn. This super Saturn has rings that are 180 million kilometers wide. That is 200 times greater than Saturn's rings and 150 million kilometers larger than the distance between the Earth and the Sun. There is no doubt that J1407b is the authentic Lord of the Rings. The way the planet's host star's light was obstructed by the rings led scientists to conclude that a huge ring system existed. How, one wonders, are these enormous rings not shattered by the star that is in the planet's host star's gravity? Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today we will be taking a look at NASA's discovery of a planet that defies the laws of physics. Make sure to stick till the end of this video as we have a lot to cover. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video. It helps us a long way. Neptune was visible out there in the void of space in a series of photographs that the James Webb Space Telescope transmitted back on Wednesday from the edge of the solar system. A previously unseen set of rings were visible surrounding the planet in the photograph. Jupiter and Saturn are just two of the planets in our solar system that have rings. But somewhere out there, in the expanse of the cosmos, there is still a world that has not one, not two, but more than 30 rings encircling it, each one enclosing a sizable section that extends outward. It's actually a sun-like star rather than a planet. Compared to Saturn's rings, J1407 is significantly bigger and heavier. The ring system that they saw eclipse the extremely young sun-like star J1407 is of tremendous proportions, far larger and heavier than the ring system of Saturn, according to astronomer Eric Mamajak of the University of Rochester and his co-author from the Leiden Observatory in the Netherlands. A team led by Eric Mamajek of Rochester made the first discovery of its kind outside of the solar system in 2012 when they uncovered the ring system. The ring system is revealed to consist of over 30 rings, each measuring tens of millions of kilometers in diameter, according to a recent examination of the data headed by Leiden's Matthew Kenworthy. In addition, they discovered gaps in the rings that suggest the formation of satellites or exomoons. In the Astrophysical Journal, the outcome has been accepted for publishing. We may observe remarkable details in the light curve. The eclipse lasted for a number of weeks, but because of the unique architecture in the rings, Kenworthy explains that you can observe quick changes over periods of tens of minutes. Although it would be impossible to directly witness the rings because of how far away the star is, a precise model might be created using the starlight that is flowing through the ring system to account for the star's rapid brightness changes. The rings surrounding J1407b would be much bigger and easier to see at night if we could swap out Saturn's rings for them. They would also be far more numerous. According to co-author Mamajek, a professor of physics and astronomy at the University of Rochester, this planet is far larger than Jupiter or Saturn, and its ring system is nearly 200 times larger than Saturn's rings are at the present time. You could consider it to be somewhat of a super Saturn. Data from the Super Wasp project, a study intended to find gas giants that migrate in front of their parent stars, was examined by the researchers. A moon-forming disk around a young giant planet or brown dwarf, according to a paper on the finding of the young star J1407 and the unique eclipses published in 2012 by Mama Jack and his colleagues at the University of Rochester, could be the reason for these events. An estimate of the mass of the ringed object was made in a third, more recent investigation that was also directed by Kenworthy. This analysis used adaptive optics and Doppler spectroscopy. Their findings on the fascinating system J1407, based on these and other articles, suggest that the companion is most likely a large planet with a massive ring system that is responsible for the periodic dimming of J1407's brightness. The light curve informs scientists that the ring system has a diameter of around 120 million kilometers, which is more than 200 times larger than Saturn's rings. 
around the mass of the Earth and dust particles that block light is probably present in the ring system. The volume of the material in these disks and rings is explained by Mamajak. If the four large Galilean moons of Jupiter were ground into dust and ice and distributed over their orbits in a ring around Jupiter, the ring would be so opaque to light that a far observer who watched the ring pass in front of the Sun would perceive an extremely profound, multi-day eclipse, claims Mamajek. In the case of J1407, we find the rings blocking as much as 95% of the light of this young Sun-like star for days, so there's a lot of material there that may then create satellites, said Dr. Martin. The ring structure, which is more defined in the revised model, has at least one clean gap that the astronomers were able to identify in the data. According to Kenworthy, a satellite created and cut out this gap is one simple explanation. The satellite's mass could fall between that of Mars and Earth. The orbital period of the satellite orbiting J1407b would be roughly two years. As satellites are created from the material in the disks, astronomers anticipate that the rings will thin out over the next few million years and eventually vanish. Since many years ago, theory in the planetary science community has been that planets like Jupiter and Saturn would have had, at an early stage, disks surrounding them that then led to the formation of satellites as Mamajek. But no one had ever seen such a ring system before we found this object in 2012. The creation of a satellite on a million kilometer scale around a substellar object is first seen in this image. Computer models were used to simulate the many ways that Super Saturn's rings could orbit the planet, including prograde, rotating in the same direction as the planet, and retrograde, rotating in the opposite direction from the planet. Prograde rings were discovered not to withstand a close, powerful gravitational interaction with the host star. The rings were still present, though, in the case of retrograde rotation. Due to the ring system's retrograde revolution, its constituent parts can remain together since they are never too far from the star for an extended period of time. However, even a retrograde ring system has an expiration date. The rings will gradually erode over a few thousand orbits if the planet continues to orbit the star, according to research. The likelihood that rings will form so that they rotate counterclockwise to the planet is now the subject of discussion, and this is under investigation. The orbital period of the ringed companion J1407b is thought to be about 10 years long by astronomers. Although J1407b's mass has been difficult to determine, it's most likely in the vicinity of 10 to 40 Jupiter masses. One can only picture the exquisite imagery and intricate data that will be disclosed if we send a spacecraft to Super Saturn after the 13 years of amazing science at Saturn by NASA's Cassini expedition. Dreamy. It simply boggles our minds to imagine that there are such extreme worlds out there in the universe that are just waiting to be found. With that being said, that ends today's episode. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. Do you believe that apart from Earth, an advanced civilization is hiding behind the stars? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. And you can also check out other videos that have been specially selected just for you. And we'll catch up in the next one.